it's no news a parent wants to hear. Tonight, a family is struggling to come to terms with the death of a child. DeAnthony Vickers Jr., a Montgomery teenager, was shot and killed the day after Christmas. Tonight, friends and family came together to support his family. They held a vigil in memory of the boy they say touched so many. WSFA 12 News reporter Brady Talbert was there. This is certainly a tragic story. A 14 year old boy fatally shot here in the capital city. It was absolutely a horrendous day for his parents, but tonight's candlelight vigil is all about hope and healing. Kind of heartbroken, but at, at the same time, I'm filled with joy because of the love that my son's been getting. The community is rallying around the family of DeAnthony Vickers Jr. Easily 200 people are at the True Word of Life Worship Center to honor the teenager they called DJ. I'm happy that a 14 year old can bring all these people together. You know, it's just a stepping stone to become some great. In a future he will never get to have. The teenager was shot at this apartment complex in South Montgomery. His mother says he was a strong athlete who enjoyed football and was protective of his family. He was my only son that I had, so I'm really miss him. Now his father is speaking out about youth violence. He says it falls on the backs of parents, community members, and school officials to do more. He wants to start a mentoring program for teens. Give them like a better option to where like they don't have to be in the streets to where like they can go sweep, learn how to cut hair, cut grass, or something that's beneficial to occupy their time. A plan to take action so fewer parents have to grieve the loss of their kids. As the family continues to process this, they are asking for prayer. Brady Talbert, WSFA 12 News, Montgomery. Montgomery police have arrested 18 year old Americon Cross Key in connection with this death. He's now charged with murder. A funeral services for Vicar is set for or Vickers is set for Saturday at one, one in the afternoon at True Divine Baptist Church.